good morning. <laughs> sort of a good morning. Um, that I'm having to do this video for the second time because for some reason the sound never <laughs> recorded on the first one and the microphone cut out. So, um, you know who this is. This is Cassidy. And um, I'm here. You can see outside. Look at that. Yes. It is 7 a.m. And I have actually been here at Panera since 6. You missed me eating my breakfast. You missed my souffle. A souffle girl here. Yes, I am. So. But, oops. <laughs> Kick the camera. Tripod. Um, coffee. With the sisterhood of the traveling cozy coffee cozy with me today. And I have my glasses, and I have my makeup, though some of my lipstick is off right now. And waving at one of my uh, various fans who knows me because she sees me in here all the time. I'm in a much better mood this week, as you can tell. Um, I have my makeup on. I am rocking the silver nails, as you can see. Not only that, but wait. One more. Look at this. Shall we go for a close up? I have the TARDIS pendant. Let's zoom out again. Because uh, you don't want to be frightened when I come up. I have the TARDIS pendant. I'm just like Tanya's daughter, only much larger, <laughs> much larger. And unlike uh, some women in the Hodge who uh, show their pendants, I have no cleavage. Uh, so, um, what's a developing girl to do? Hope she develops more. So, it's, uh, it's been a good week. Much better than I had last week. I have been doing a lot of things. For one, um, glasses. I've been out. I've been uh, watching TV, but I've been feeling a lot better. Uh, I had a session with my therapist on Thursday night. We we Skype back and forth because she's still in Indianapolis and I'm not. And um, she told me that being in Hodge is probably far better therapy for me than going to a trans support group. Because as she told me, Cassie, you know who you are. Uh, you know, you have no problems with your transition. So, you know, it's good that you're hanging with other women because it's healthy for you. She told me where my problems lie, and then, as she likes to say, it's uh, my emotions. I have to learn how to deal with those. Because, like last night, it uh, was my shark week in a bottle night. And um, sometimes, right now it's not hit me, but give it a few days and I'll probably be flipping out. <laughs> But um, you know, been keeping everybody apprised of what's going on. Everything is pretty good. And one of the things that I've been really happy about in the last few days is my writing. And one of the things I'm doing here this morning is I'm going to finish a scene in my novel. You're thinking, you're writing at 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this used to be pretty common for me. Uh, when I was in a writing class, when I was writing my first published story, um, I was up at like 6 a.m. writing, kind of getting my music ready and everything else, my coffee, and then um, I'd write for about an hour. So, and this is what I'm working on. Slowly we turn step by step. 
inch by inch. And here we are. That's my story. It's chapter 22, Attack. And the scenes I've been working on the last three nights are sky, triage, and ground. Sky is a carry scene, triage is an any scene, and ground is a carry scene. And I've been doing really well. Uh, you can't really see it here. I have to move the camera again. Yes, right there. But uh, 1,500 words, 1,200 words, almost 1,200 words. I've written almost 4,000 words in the last three nights. And um, to be quite honest, hello. Look at those big eyes. I gotta zoom out here, hold on. There we go. And to And to be very honest, 4,000 words in three nights' time is something that I haven't done in a while. Because I've been a little, you know, burned out and mentally in a bad spot. But right now, that's not true. I'm in a very good spot. Even though I'm by myself, and I'll be spending the holiday alone, I'm not feeling that bad. I'm actually pretty good. So, the next time I give you one of these videos, I think what I'll do is I'm going to do another reading for you. I may actually do two. Um, I'll do uh, the reading of a scene that I wrote where Carrie and Annie separate for the first time in two months. Uh, they've been together constantly since coming to school and this is really, now they're not. Um, Annie's stuck under the big blue bubble of the pentagram defense screens and Carrie is out flying as they flyers say between the blue and the black. And the first scene I'll probably read will be when they separate. And Annie gives him the kiss as he's walking away. And then the other scene I'll read is observatory lessons, or as I like to call it, lessons from Laputa. I might actually change that scene name because it's where Carrie's wingmate, Emma, or as some people like to call her, that girl. Ask Carrie the big question. And Carrie responds for the first time in a way he's never responded before. And it's an important, important point. So, we'll see what happens. I didn't bring Allison today. I was going to, but she was... <sighs> she was being very talky last night. She kept wanting to spin yarns. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Some of you right now are just rolling your eyes. So, uh... Um, talk for almost 10 minutes because I'm a talky bitch <laughs> um, I'm going to let you go I want all of you to have a good weekend I'll be thinking of, of you of some of you more in particular than others but I will be thinking of you and um, I'll see you out on the internet